Uh, I'm sorry, what was that? More useless Pokemon facts? You know, there are significantly more useless Pokemon facts than there are useful Pokemon facts. That's that's 100% true. I enjoyed last one. Actually, what was there? There was a comment in the last one that I wanted to talk about. Oh, should we do the Pokemon Heights too? You know what? I'm just going to do it. I don't know why I even asked you. I'm going to shoot it. That'll be coming out soon. <laughs> I'll do the Pokemon Heights too. It's just like useless facts, but how tall each Pokemon are, but it's fun. There was another video to do because the game is coming out. I did not forget the original video in the description. It's there. Five days ago, you forgot the original video link. I didn't forget the original more. No, the description doesn't always like update, right? But I didn't forget it. Uh, do more Pokemon stuff, we'll do, I'm here. Uh, didn't know he <laughs> voiced Kaiba alone, you're not alone, thank you. I'm glad I'm not alone on that. I feel like, oh, here it is. 10 silliest Pokemon anime moments mistakes. I definitely look at that. There was another game that was coming out that I was gonna do, um, but this is fine. So we're doing more, 20 more useless Pokemon facts. There was another game we're supposed to look up facts from because it's coming out soon. We have the whole setup right now done. So it should be easier to record stuff from other consoles. So we'll be doing some more fun stuff on the gaming channel. We kind of just do like one-off stuff. Uh, the only long series we have going on right now is Monster Hunter, and that's fun as hell. Um, so we're getting into some, we're getting to some like really good, high rank missions now. We're doing the Elder Dragons and stuff in Monster Hunter, and we're doing more of the uh, Dragon Ball Z abridged. Of course, that stuff's coming out too. So we're gonna get into it, man. All right, 20 more useless Pokemon facts. I didn't find the comments I was looking for, but that's okay because I mean well. Um, yeah, play. Here we go. Uh, 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 uh. One of my favorite things when making videos is learning some useless yet interesting <laughs> knowledge that other people might not know about, then sharing it with others. Dude, last time also in the video was OP as fuck is I matched Charizard with my shirt, which I can't do this time because I got a multicolored shirt on, but that shit made me hype. Come on, that happens quite a lot. So much so that I'm able to share even more useless facts with you all about the Pokemon franchise. Dope. Maybe some of this information will come in handy one day, but chances <laughs> are, it won't. I don't think it so, will, bro. at the very least, hopefully you'll enjoy learning some of this knowledge. Until you eventually forget it, of course. Here are 20 more pretty much completely useless facts about Pokemon that you'll hopefully find interesting anyway, if you didn't already know about them. Okay. We all know that some Pokemon have counterparts. Obvious hit my chance, hit my lead, and yeah. Or be an Illimise, and pretty much any box legendary. However, there are some not so well known Pokemon counterparts. For example, Sableye and Mawal. These what? two are considered counterparts as they're each version exclusives in games oh, like yeah. Ruby and Sapphire, their remakes, and even Hot Gold and Soul Silver. They also have the same stat totals, and both receive Mega Evolutions, hey. even if they receive Megas at different times. Then there are Pokemon whose counterparts changed after a generation. Pinsir and Scizor were Gen 1 counterparts, but Heracross is now considered more of Pinsir's counterpart after Scizor received an evolution. Right. While Pinsir received nothing. Nothing. Similar to how I'm hating on Pinsir too. Electabuzz, Magmar, and Jinx were considered their own trio at one point, being next to each other in the decks, including their pre evolutions. However, this trio changed into more of a duo in Gen 4 when Game Freak decided they didn't want to draw any more attention to Jinx. <laughs> a good call in their end, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. It's pretty common knowledge that Ash from the anime was named after the creator of Pokemon, Satoshi Tajiri, with his Japanese name being Satoshi. But did you know, there is another character in the anime who is named after a real life person. Ash's early rival we all know as Gary. Gary yeah. In Japan however, his name is Shigeru, deriving from, of course, the man behind Super Mario and The Legend of Zelda, Shigeru Miyamoto. Oh snap! Yeah I know that some people watching will already know this. Oh. I only found out recently, what? and it kind of blew my mind. <laughs> who know? Who the hell knows that? Also, like, I get like Ash Ketchum and Gary Oak are like really easy American names, you know, for kids to understand. So I guess I do understand why they were changed to the American version. But it's one of those things that's actually kind of disappointing to me because as a kid, when I watched like Pokemon, I didn't know any better. You could have called him Shigeru, and I would have just called him Shigeru. Like it'd have been an easy transition for me growing into an adult to understand more and different cultures rather than just thinking everything was just Americanized, right? Like, I thought there were people in Japan or China known as, you know, Ash Ketchum and Gary Oak. Like, I thought those were names. 
from, you know, across the sea. I didn't realize that they were like, you know, Americanized for like a long time. So I was like probably 14 or 15. Apart from Pikachu and Meowth, the Pokemon that has appeared the most in the Pokemon anime is... Wobbuffet. Wobbuffet! Who would have ah. thought that the one Pokemon that Jessie accidentally traded away for her Lickitung would have become a staple in the Pokemon anime? <laughs> the Poker Up includes every generation one Pokemon. Yes, it does. Or does it? Wait, it does it? There is actually one Kanto Pokemon missing from the Kanto Poker Up. That Pokemon being... Mew. Oh, what? Because the Poker Up was made <laughs> before Mew's announcement outside of Japan. <laughs> Even though the rap contains Mewtwo. Mewtwo, yeah. I still find it weird that Mewtwo comes in the decks before Mew. <laughs> Himonchan's Pokedex number is 107. Okay. What? Yeah, that's it. That's the whole fact. That's the useless fact. <laughs> You're a dick. However, it is possible that Himonchan's dex number is 107 because Ludomac from the Punch Out series weighed 107. Oh, pounds. that's good. That's a good fact. Coincidental? Probably. Probably, yeah. But, but it'd be a pretty cool nod if it was on purpose. Lil Mac is the Smash character, right? Here is an Electabuzz. They have five fingers on each hand. Boop, boop. But did you know that in Pokemon Stadium, Electabuzz actually had six fingers on each hand? That is creepy. Mind-blowing, I know. Makes you wonder if the Stadium Electabuzz killed anyone's father lately. <laughs> well spoken, sir. <laughs> <laughs> All them goddamn fingers. You have six fingers on your right hand. Yes. Someone was looking for you. <laughs> sleep. Sourcebook, uh, as we all know, I'm has sleep. the gimmick of appearing slightly different depending on the season. However, something about this Pokemon I found out recently blew my mind. If you take the Saws in Sourcebook name, you have an anagram for summer, autumn, winter, winter and, and spring. spring. That's good. That's good. Like I said before, some people are already bound to know this. But again, I only found it recently, and I kicked myself for not knowing sooner. In Generation 2, IVs worked quite differently, being called DVs instead. And these were one of the factors that determined whether a Pokemon was shiny or not. Yep. So because of this, in Gen 2, only unknown I and V can be shiny, since unknown's letters back then were determined by its IVs. Pretty interesting how the only unknown you can get shiny back then just so happened to be these two. Oh, that's right. I was going to show my Pokemon cards. Somebody did ask me to do that. So yeah, I'm going to do that at the end of this. That is indeed. That reminded me because I, I found my also found my little thing. I was talking about the, um, the only reason I know that um, or have heard it before. I didn't really don't really know how it works, but I knew shinies work differently in the in the generations before because silver was the first Pokemon game I really played. Um, it's because I found my um, my Game Shark and I don't know what I did with it, but I found my Game Shark since then. Um, and me and my friend were talking about it. A Mega Yanma. Being Yang Mega. This is because Yang Mega's Japanese name just so happens to be Mega Yanma. Mega Yanma. Is this the reason why name. Yang Mega hasn't received a Mega Evolution? Probably not, <laughs> but the name Mega Mega Yanma would have sounded a bit off. What are you was. kidding? That's awesome! Mega Mega Yanma! Pokemon anime has been going on for a long time now. Pretty much since Pokemon first started. As an April Fool's joke, apparently, as well. So given that there are over a thousand episodes of the anime so far, wow. if you were to watch every episode, it would take you around 340 hours oh, or oh. just over 14 days to complete <laughs> Holy smoke! So give two weeks and you could possibly catch up with every series so far, given that you choose not to sleep or take breaks, which doesn't sound healthy at all. You know what? Don't even worry about it. Just put it on in your house like over a weekend and just do it over the weekend. That's what me and Skitten used to do with like One Piece. We would just put it on and you'll catch up. Like they refer back to themselves enough in the anime that you're not even gonna miss anything. If you include the movies and any specials to do with do the it. anime, the time goes up to around 400 hours do it. or almost 17 days. It's worth it. So if you're planning to have a really lazy month, you could potentially waste your time just watching Pokemon until you've caught up. Worth it. Definitely not the smartest idea, but <laughs> what do you do, mean? I guess. No. Speaking of the Pokemon anime. Do that. Almost every gym leader has made at least one appearance in the Pokemon anime. Almost. Can you work out which gym leader hasn't? Mm -mm. Not including Blue, of course, since that's who Gary is based off. Well, the only gym leader that is yet to make an anime appearance is Janine, Koga's daughter. Will she ever make an anime appearance? Probably not anytime <laughs> soon, 
but I'm pretty certain that Pokemon hasn't <laughs> forgot about her at all. I love how this guy says probably not. I love it. This is the dream world art for Toxicroak. Does it look a little off to you? Well, here is both a regular and a shiny Toxicroak. Yep, the dream world Toxicroak looks a lot more like a shiny than a regular one. So much so that when I made my opinion on every shiny video, I had to make a regular version of the dream world art. Since again, this is pretty much a shiny one. Yeah. This is also the case for the anime, leaving some people to speculate whether the Toxicroak shown in the anime are shiny. In fact, there's been multiple Pokemon in the anime that are questioned whether they're shiny or not. Giovanni's Persian are argued by some if they're the shiny versions, as well as the Jigglypuff <laughs> from earlier Smash Brothers games. This is almost definitely a coincidence, but still something fun to speculate about. Toxicroak isn't the only one whose colorations have been questioned. Let's test your Pokemon color knowledge a little bit. Okay. Which of these Krogon's colors are correct? Are the cheeks pink as red or orange? Well, I'm gonna go the with correct answer red. is they're technically both correct. What? Krogon's cheeks and fingers were pink or red in Gen 4 and the Gen 5 main series games, but were changed to orange elsewhere, like in the anime and side games. Its colors have officially been changed, so the cheeks and fingers are now orange. But not gonna lie, I think I slightly prefer the original one. Yeah. Pikachu is the mascot of Pokemon. Yes, he is. And Pikachu was also the mascot for Japan in the 2014 FIFA World Cup. <laughs> of all the fictional Japanese characters, Japan chose Pokemon's mascot. What? That is pretty awesome. Too bad the actual tournament didn't go so well for Japan. The Zorok in the Gen 5 games can illusion itself to become a shiny. However, it most likely won't be shiny itself. That's because Zoroark and its illusion both have their own chances to be shiny. So if you were insane enough to try and get both the illusion and the Zoroark to be shiny, your odds for that are around 1 out of 67,108,864. Oh my god! Definitely not worth doing. But if it ever happens to you, consider yourself share possibly it. the luckiest Pokemon yeah, player in the world. Yeah, share it! I want to see that shit! Pokemon Cries have been a staple of the Pokemon main series games. However, out of all the cries from Generation 1, of the 151 Pokemon, there are actually only around 37 different 30. cries, with some being the same with just a slight pitch or speed difference, <laughs> or some being exactly the f***ing same. Wow. It didn't really get much better in Gen 2 when there are only around 30 unique cries that were added. So yeah, not much originality when it came to the sounds that Pokemon made back in the day. Croconaur is yet another Pokemon that went through a little bit of a change appearance-wise. The Gen 2 games, the yellow pattern on Croconaur's body went over its left shoulder. But after this, the pattern seemed to flip. <laughs> and now it goes over the right shoulder instead. I don't know Such a change pointless made, change! But it was, I guess. The Pokedex lists Pokemon by colours. These colours being red, blue, yellow, green, black, brown, purple, grey, white, or pink. Okay. Some Pokemon match their colours perfectly. However, some of them are pretty questionable. Some examples being Fennekin, who's mainly yellow, being listed as red, Snorlax <laughs> being listed as black, and Excadrill being grey instead of brown. Now, obviously, each Pokemon can only be given one colour despite having multiple. But some of these colour choices are pretty questionable when there's another colour that obviously suits the Pokemon a lot more. Pokemon is officially the highest grossing media franchise of all time. What? Mainly thanks to Pokemon Go, but still. Oh, Pokemon that's right, Pokemon one. Go, the now, money Mario grab. Is still the best selling video game series. That's of what all I time, was thinking. Pokemon coming in second. But when it comes to making money, Pokemon has everyone else beat. Really? Also, fun fact the second highest grossing media franchise of all time is. Hello Kitty. Ah! Star Wars, Mickey Mouse, Mario, Harry Potter, etc. I can't so, believe yeah, Mario was, was underneath Star Wars. One. Probably not the most useful fact on the list, but I can't really see it helping you out anytime soon. So, do you remember that song at the end of the first Pokemon movie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I stayed for the entire song, too. <laughs> I shall do. Well, do you know who sings that song? Mariah Carey. If you didn't know, get this. The person who sings the song that plays at the end of the first Pokemon movie is Christina Aguilera. Christi 
same person. I don't know. I don't know the fucking difference. Yeah, somebody famous. Oh, God yeah. damn it, I'm so wrong on that. In fact, there were a few recognizable names on the Pokemon first movie soundtrack, including Britney Spears, NSYNC, Billy Piper, and one fifth of the Spice Girls. Those are some pretty big names for the first Pokemon movie, which came out more or less 20 years before Pokemon became the highest grossing media franchise of all time. It's been money, bro. I was pretty shocked when I found out some of these artists made songs for the movie. It's been money on that shit. before Pokemon became the gigantic franchise it is now. And there you are. 20 more useless facts about Pokemon you might find interesting and probably will forget tomorrow. If you for whatever reason didn't see the first 20 useless facts video, check it out. To learn some more useless information. The, the first useless facts video was made way more useless than the second one, but now it's like good. I don't know. It's just nice. It's like a pleasant. It's just a pleasant. Uh, the video, the camera's dying, but uh, thanks for tuning into the video, Chavez Slovakia. I love fact videos like this, these announcer is very satisfying to listen to and it's a big flashback and I will have to just do the um, showing some of my old Pokemon cards uh, in another video. Somebody asked me to do that but yeah I found some of them so I don't mind showing you guys. But yeah, peace. Crocs, 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 Crocs. Crocs, 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 Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm wearing Crocs, boy. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm rocking Crocs. I'm wearing Crocs, boy. My Crocs are gold. My pops is old. My Crocs got soul. My Crocs are bold. I go to church wearing Crocs. I'm always turned wearing Crocs. My Crocs are great. Your Crocs are lame. With my Crocs, I can cross a lake. Crocs, 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 Crocs.